What is the strength of a lime tree that hasn't been pollarded? Here we can see it actually has lifted up the tarmac and a little bit further on as we go for our morning jog we have another tree clearly higher uh, taller than a house and as you can now see as we approach it another raised part of the pavement and if we follow the pavement we can actually see the root invading the sandstone wall which is so beautiful beautiful part of this part of Nottingham and then as we further go for our jog careful not to uh, fall over the raised pavement we have more unpollarded trees and as you can see here there's the roots they have actually separated these curbstones despite the curbstones being cemented in and on the opposite side of the road if we make our way through the beautiful blossom and obviously enjoying the sand there we see a curbstone that has been broken into two by the strength of this beautiful lime tree which is clearly of a considerable height higher than the house and if we gently follow it further along on our morning jog we come to yet another curbstone which is a little bit dangerously placed on the pavement now where again another lime tree has dislodged more curbstones so clearly there is strength in the lime tree that hasn't been pollarded and kept in check by regular pollarding cutting back of the branches and here we have another curbstone if we have a look and you can see here how the curbstone has been raised with the underlying Roman cobbles we go across the road now and here it's another pollarded tree and you can actually see all the cobbles that the Romans put in at Roman times thinking that cobbles would last forever are quickly dealt with by the unpollarded lime it's a soft wood it's not an oak that's hard but it's a soft wood but it has considerable destructive capabilities so here there you can see the root has dislodged and lifted up all these cobbles that could have lasted 10,000 years and as we can see is the root that has raised the pavement and caused splitting to the sandstone wall so continue this jog onwards my plea is dear nottingham county council don't allow the trees to grow this height and cause such destructive to our historic neighborhood with roman cobbles clearly shown that children can enjoy and destroying the curbstones lifting them here's one of the neighbors who's uh, cut back the roots trying to prevent lifting of this uh, curbstones further at his property and yet again on the opposite side of the road more raised curbstones separating here as you can see one curbstone so the lime tree is a strong tree in terms of destructive forces. Thank you for supporting the pollarding of trees.